A male patient presents to your emergency department with intense scrotal pain, a high riding testicle, and no cremasteric reflex on physical exam. You're concerned about testicular torsion. Let's talk about the most salient points of managing this pathology. Number one is that testicular torsion is a surgical emergency. You have about six hours from the onset of pain to save the testicle. After that, salvage rates drop dramatically. If you can't get immediate urology in your shop, start manual detorsion. Most torsions occur from lateral to medial, so you want to detours from medial to lateral, like opening a book. If pain improves during the maneuver, keep going, but stop if you feel resistance or if the patient's pain worsens. For imaging, we're grabbing the ultrasound probe. Either color Doppler or power Doppler should be used at bedside, but remember that power Doppler is less angle dependent and more sensitive for slow flow. Remember to tune your Doppler using gain and scale modifications so that you see flow in the unaffected side without too much flashover artifact before you compare your unaffected side to your affected side. Now color flow and power Doppler have high sensitivity and specificity for complete torsion. But if the patient is partially torsed or if they're having intermittent torsion, you may still see some flow on these images. So if your clinical suspicion is high, then you need to proceed with pulse wave Doppler analysis. And if you're uncomfortable with this at bedside, of course you can always get consultative imaging and you're already on the phone with urology. And of course, don't forget to treat their pain. So remember, six hours from the onset of their pain, color and power Doppler for imaging, open that book, from medial to lateral to detours the patient while urology is on their way in. Move fast, time is testicle. You've got your quick hit for the day, now go crush your shift.